Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. And it's a TGIF, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 135, NASDAQ up 30, S&P's up 16 and a half, gold contract flat at 1,311 an ounce, silver down four cents at $19.95 an ounce, platinum up th uh, down three bucks at 1,447 an ounce, oil up 29 cents at $97.63 a barrel, bonds. We have the 10 year up one tick at 125.30. We're going to go over that. It broke the B point, broke it with volume, gave it up in price, still going higher. 30 year bond up six ticks, same deal there. We're at 139.14. King dollar down 151 ticks at 81.45. You get the euro up 48, trading out at 134, and the yen down six at 102.04. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We price spread out here today, a 1909 to 1928.79. We go, let's go right over to the futures market. Why? Because we got 58 minutes left here. And what you're going to see is that you get the S&Ps up 16, and I suspect... By the time that we're done here, coming at the 4 o'clock, you're going to see them up about 8 points, folks. Why? Oh, this is what you have. Deviance extraordinaire. It's a beautiful thing. Markets bouncing, no doubt, bounce on what? On zero. Uh, we're coming into Friday afternoon. You get a nice bounce going. That bounce. Well, first off, last night, this is what you had. When markets closed uh, yesterday morning, they were at, uh, up, these, up at these highs where we are right now, 1922. Into the close last night. You got into the uh, price point of 1905. Uh, overnight, uh, the, the, the S&Ps went down to a 1890. You crawl your way all the way back topside, and all it did it was trying to test those highs. And intraday, we were coming into the 0930 level out here, and that level had 80,000 contracts, and we tested that level with 22,000 contracts. What that sets up? is that now it's going to back down the other side. And uh, I suspect we're going to be somewhere around the... Um, you can hit the 1912 area. That would be really low, but that's 12, that's 8. That's giving up 9 points. That's game. That's game in the next uh, 45 minutes. You know, we'll see. The, the first area it's going to go for, and I expect what you're going to see is that you're going to go for it right now, is uh, 1918. If you get an expansion going into 1918, then 1912 is going to be game coming into this uh, Friday afternoon. Let's go over to the gold contract. We take a look at gold. What we have with gold is this. Gold traded in a price spread out here today of 1305 was the low, 1324 was the high. Did 140,000 contracts. That's good contracts, good volume as it's trying to get into higher price. Uh, they couldn't basically hammer it down out here today, so gold is going to be, gold is laying right under the swing point from the July 10th area. And that July 10th area, what you have with that July 10th area, folks, she's building cars to get through it. I expect we're going to see it get through it and run all the way up to this 1391, which was the March swing high. We go over to the 10-year. The 10-year, you got to love this, folks. This 10-year out here today. 1.6 million contracts. We get to a price point of 126.17. Uh, give it up on price. You know, right now we're at 160, uh, 125.30. Uh, that 125.30 uh, level, it's still basically over the one, well, it's at 126 high. It's right at that 126 high. Uh, when you push higher with volume, folks, what ends up happening, and you give it up in price, which the bonds have done. You pull back a little and you go right for the highs once again. And that's what we have happening. The 30-year, what do we have with the 30-year up here? 30-year also does the same deal. 442,000 contracts. That's a big number in the 30-year. Got to a price point of 140.11. Right now you're at 139.11. So you've got higher price. Gave it up on price. What that sets up is that you're going to be back. 
to higher price. When I say back to higher price, when that normally shakes out like that, folks, it's very quick. You know, you're talking one or two days. That's how it normally works. You pull back a little, make the gun, and go right for the whole deal uh, once again. Some of the um, high-volume stocks, and we definitely have a low-volume market as we're pushing up higher here. Uh, you have uh, Bank of America is up $0.03. Cents. You get uh, Facebook uh, down 19 NVIDIA, that's up $1.36. Some of the Dow stocks, and there are many Dow stocks that are up, but these are dead cat bounces. You got Honeywell up a buck fifty-four, IBM's up one eighty-one, Caterpillar's up one oh seven, uh, Boeing is up twenty-six cents. You got Oxy up one thirty-six, J.P. Morgan Chase is up uh, twenty-six, Walmart is up forty-six. If you take a look at the, the correlation inside the, the SPY, what you have is this: the SPY is up a dollar seventy-seven. You did 85 million shares out here. That's after coming downtown uh, yesterday with 94 million. That's on the dailies. Uh, what you're going to have on the weeklies now is this. You're going to have weekly charts right across all the indices with higher volume. And this is the second week that we came off the highs with volume. And that's, that, that is what that's going to set up is that you're coming off the highs with expanded volume. When you come off the highs with expanded volume, the pullbacks are much larger than they normally are. So we'll see how the baby shakes out. That's the SPY. The three Qs, the NDX 100, same setup. Uh, last week we did 198 million. This week we're going to do about 198 million. We hit the highs with 139 million. Uh, the SPYs, the SPY, what we have in the SPYs, it's on the weekly basis coming off those highs. Off those highs, uh, last week we came off with, <clears throat> well, first of all, we made a high with 334 million. You come off the high with 672 million, and we're going to do somewhere around about 600 million. Yeah, probably around 600 million today. So there are big numbers coming off those highs with volume. We take a look at the uh, XLF. So the XLF of the financials out here, financials up 15 cents today, 22.31. And that 2231, she's building cause for lower price. The XLF's building cause to get into this 2119 area. She came down, has some expanded volume as we got down on the daily as well as the weekly. And it's, it's rounding out just about everywhere, folks. And what you can expect is that the market that we have, you're going to expect fast down moves, fast up moves. The up moves, what you're going to be looking for is that if I put the SPY up and you want to see that correlation, the up moves are going to go right back to where the down moves and the signs of strength have a signs of strength that is, well, signs of weakness on the way down. Uh, that's exactly what we have when you take a look at the SPY. The SPY, you can, uh, at 130 on the 5th Eastern, at 130 Eastern Standard Time, you came down and you came down at 4.5. 2 million shares. It tried to make it up there on the 6th with 1.3, couldn't handle it. Tried to make it up there on the 7th at 1.8, couldn't make it. And today you're up there with 1.3. That correlation, so get it 1.3, 1.6, 1.8 is going into 4.2. It's not even close, folks. It's that area is where the sellers are, that area is where some of the operators are, and what you'll see as we're coming into this close out here, you're going to see them put just unload. This is still distribution up there. The markdown period's already started. Uh, if you go over to Germany and we go look at the DAX, the DAX broke the March lows out here today. Um, they, it ended up only closing down 29, but we're going to see, you're going to have volume there. And the March lows, by the way, in the DAX was the 80. 913. That had already broken the February lows, the benchmark that we're, we're talking about on most of these indices. The NASDAQ and the DAX, they had done the same thing when they came down in March. Uh, they, the NASDAQ had broken its February swing low. The February swing low in the NASDAQ composite was 36.68. And in March, we went to 39.46. That's bizarre. But it was just as bizarre because then what the NASDAQ did and the DAX did, it got over the swing points of March 7. So it actually broke higher, false break higher. Can't bust them up. What are you going to do? Bust them down. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there. We're coming right back, folks. Dow is up 143. NASDAQ's up 31. S&Ps are up 17.